have an unboxing. Um, this arrived yesterday, but I only got it today because a neighbour had it. And it's from someone over in the US. Um, Eric Hansen, also known as Eric Andrew. Um, it's a mixture. Some of it is trade and some of it is purchases. Um, we did a trade a while back. I sent some stuff over. Totally can't remember what. And Eric had this ready for me. Um, and I said, there's no rush. And then he had some other items for sale recently. Um, and I asked about a few of them. Um, and then I think I've brought two autographs, I think it was. Um, so they're in there as well. Um, didn't take long to get here by post, about a week, um, except it went to next door yesterday. The chap who delivered it didn't put a card through my door, so I had no idea. Um, until this morning when I got a knock at the door. But it's cool because I've took their parcels before. So it'll also be good because I can't even remember what's supposed to be in here anyway from the trade. Some of it I will as it comes along. Um, Eric's active in the community, um, the Bambox community. Um, also watch his videos a lot on YouTube. I will add a link in the description below to his channel. So there's some bubble wrap. Which is handy because I do need some bubble wrap as I've got a few things to send. So, start with an autograph. I remember seeing the picture, but I totally can't remember who it was. John something Campbell? John G. Campbell or John J. Campbell? John J. Campbell. Um, which I'm thinking something like Swamp Thing or something. I um, totally can't remember. So there's that one. I do like that though, um, even though I can't remember what it was from or who it was from. I just like the fact it's like the skull and all the blood and bones and flesh. So very happy with that. Thank you. This trade was, I do have this autograph, but I did like this photo and Eric had a couple of them. So I did like the look of it. So I asked if I could have one of these and that is Ed Gale, who was inside the Chucky costume in Child's Play 1, 2 and Bride of Chucky. Um, anytime you see the doll running around on its own or in the background somewhere, that was Ed. So very happy to have that. That will go along with a photo I've got. Well, my son's got the photo, um, so I've got my own. And it also go along with the sign Pop from the band box. Um, I did get his autograph, but I got it on a Q3 from the Life Pod film, as that was one of my favourites. This one is one that I purchased as I have been looking at trying to get hold of this autograph for a while. Um, I remember this guy back in the early 80s to mid and late 80s. And I did get a chance to almost see him once at a convention. But I think he was running late and by the time he got there we were ready. We'd already gone around and done most of the autographs. And we were, it was like our second day. So we just wanted to go and look at the stalls and then go. We didn't want to do any more queuing up after that. Um, so I have been looking for this. And that was Jake the Snake Roberts, which is cool. I'm very happy with that. Um, so thank you for that. I, when I was growing up, I was a fan. I wasn't a fan of Jake. Um, some of the times I wasn't, I didn't, 
like the character how he was but then I did like him and then I can remember the one where he had the cobra that literally clamps onto Randy Savage's arm and it was like my first first like experience of seeing something that you could tell definitely wasn't fake and it's like biting in and there's blood um, so it's sort of like from that point on it was like actually you know what yeah I do like the character and then he did was it something pit the python's pit or the viper's pit or something or i know he did something and but yeah so cool uh childhood memory well adolescence this one definitely glad i've got this now this was a purchase um i can remember growing up and watching the return to Oz, as don't think there's much of an age difference. And then seeing her in other films, thinking she's quite cute. Bit of a crush, really. Um, I did see these advertised through BAM and through another box. Um, at the time, I didn't have a chance to get hold of them. So definitely happy to now have this in the collection, which is Feruza Bulk. Or through a bulk, bulk. Definitely happy to have that. Um, can remember watching loads of her films, The Craft as well. And oh God, um, trying to think the the Water Boy. So definitely happy to have that. So again, thank you, Eric. And then we have the last one, which goes with a signed DVD that I've got. This is another purchase. Um, I got a DVD signed well over 10 years ago, maybe even 15 to 16 years ago at a show at the NEC. And it was literally the five main characters of the film um, four of the good guys and one of the bad guys. That was from the 1978 version, Dawn of the Dead. Um, I got that signed by the five main cast. And this guy is, he's not a main cast, but I think the role's quite funny and interesting. And I think he's the one that finds where they were hiding in the shopping mall. Um, is it Matthew Christopher or Matt Christopher? No, it's something Christopher. And he was like the Buddhist monk. And I think he is the one that heads to where the fake wall is and he's the one that ends up breaking through it. So definitely happy with that. Um, again, thank you very much. We have some of the classic band tissue paper. And some more packaging. one first. I'm a Star Wars fan, most people will know that, whether that be autographs or various other different things. And we have the Wampa, which is a six inch, I think it's the six inch. I think it's the six inch Wampa. So son will be very happy with that. He's not seen this scene yet, so he won't understand it, but he'll look at it and he'll think, oh, it's got some teeth showing. But I do like that. So that will have to go in the Star Wars collection, which is just on display over there. So that is cool. The other ones you can get hold of. I think that one would have been cool to get. And the Emperor. Um, I've got an autograph from the chap who played him, Alan Harris, um, who's unfortunately passed away not too long ago. So cool, thank you for that. Someone will definitely enjoy opening this box when I've repackaged it.
you'll be wondering what these are. All will be revealed. son's name. Um, Eric <clears throat> does do these graphics. Um, he's like the stick on things so he does them um, and then puts them onto items. So that is cool. This is one that Eric did. So my son will be happy to have that because then he's got his own big water bottle that he can use for school or if we go out camping probably or if we're on a walk we'll take that with us. So he's got a drink for me stop. have another and this one is Star Wars with Darth Vader now I think this one might even get claimed by my son as well because Darth Vader is his favorite character because he's met him in the past so that might get taken but I'll try and keep that one myself. So thank you very much for doing those. They are really, really cool and will come in very useful. And the last one we have Ryan's World, collect them all. Not 100% sure on these. It's almost like Lego Duplo. And we've got a little figure there. The little dumbbell. So that is cool. I know somebody will definitely like that. And we'll put that back in so we can have a look at that when he gets here. sort these out and put them back in a minute so I would like to say thank you very much Eric for this great trade and purchase um, I will look at sending you something else I'm not going to tell you what but I'll try and get some of your fandoms and I'll see what I can find just to say thank you so thank you very much and if you go and check out the link below that will show you to Eric's channel and I will then go through this and put this away and I'll get in my son Saturday morning so he probably will go through this Saturday afternoon and I can imagine the reaction when he sees the water bottles he'll like those and the figures um, the autographs he'll ask who they are he won't really know too much but we'll see which one he likes so again thank you very much Great trade. Thanks for the, letting me buy the items and I'll get something to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.